Welcome to Yester Quickies, a speedy culinary trip back in time. Today, we're traveling to 1981 to discover stuffed eggs, but it's a whole lot more. You're gonna love it. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Jill and this is Yester Kitchen. I've got another quickie for you, so let me just recap something that we've done in the past. Do you remember this book? If you haven't, check out the episode. <laughs> and then we went to this book. And if you haven't, check out that episode. But now, as promised, we are gonna do number three cookbook in the trilogy. Ta da 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 How to get it up in the garden. Which is number three installment from our friend Jane George. She's now moved to 1981. Her first two books were in the 70s. Very suggestive, but very innocent cookbooks. And this one is all about, take a while guess, gardening. <laughs> So she pretty much has mostly side dishes, vegetable dishes, but of course for this one, oh and there's the back, I managed to find the one dish in here that contains bacon because bacon. So we're gonna make stuffed eggs right out of this cookbook. It's got a great twist and I know you're gonna love it. So before I get started, you know stuffed eggs are deviled eggs, but she happens to call them stuffed eggs. And if you want the history on deviled eggs, because they do have a history, they had to come from somewhere, I got you covered. Check out that video. I will go into the whole history of the deviled egg. But this is one amazing variation. Okay, I have six eggs that I've already hard boiled and I've already taken out the yolks. You know how to make deviled eggs. And I've put the yolks right in a little bowl. So we're gonna switch that out, and if you want a really quick tip on how to make the perfect, perfect hard-boiled egg, I'll put it right down in the description from none other than Julia Child herself. Okay, so all of our yolks are in here, and I've already done most of the work, but you just wanna go in and just mash up your eggs, which starts like any other deviled egg, right? But now we're gonna add some really, really cool things to it. So give me a second, let me grab them. Okay, this is gonna come together in minutes and you're gonna love this filling. As a matter of fact, it's so good, it goes perfectly with my favorite drink. <laughs> okay, in here I have three tablespoons of cream cheese. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna whip them for a couple seconds so it gets nice and fluffy. You could do it by hand if you want, but you know I love to use this. So give me one second and let's get this going. Okay, that's it, really, really quick. Now to this, everything in the pot. So back in come our egg yolks right into the cream cheese. And to that, we have a quarter cup of sour cream. And by the way, this can easily, easily, easily be doubled, tripled, quadrupled. And now we have a half a teaspoon of dried dill. And we have one tablespoon of capers. And last but not least, I promised you bacon, and bacon I will deliver. 10 slices, cooked crisp, ground up. So as you can see, it's literally bacon and eggs. <laughs> now you wanna mix this super duper well, so give me a second to get everything incorporated, and I will be right back. Okay, here we are, all blended. We need one more thing, and that's a little bit of garlic salt. So you wanna add about a teaspoon of garlic salt in there. Okay, I'm gonna mix it up one more time. Be right back. Okay, so I promised you it would be a very different filling and I hope I delivered. This is fabulous. So now, we are gonna bring, oh, sorry Martini, gotta push you out for a second. Gotta bring back our, our egg whites. And now you know the drill. You just take some filling and you take an egg white and you stuff away. And these, this does make quite a bit you can absolutely overstuff it, just like that. I know you can pipe it in, um, but I think on this particular recipe, I like the rustic look of just piling it in because you have bacon, you have capers, it's not a super smooth filling, so I would just go with this, but you can do whatever you want. Okay, I'm gonna finish filling these and I'll be right back. Okay, our eggs are all stuffed, but there is one more thing we need to do and that's chill it. Jane George recommends chilling it overnight. <laughs> you can do that, make them the night before, but if you can't stand it, because look at all these fabulous flavors. I would say maybe an hour. If you can make it two hours, that would be great. Your flavors will mix, those capers, that bacon, everything will make delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and chill mine, and I will be right back. 
Okay, so it's been two hours for me and the eggs have set up beautifully. Take a look. Is that the cutest? I just want to serve this to companies. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have this company soon. So we're going to test this out and I know they're going to love it. So I hope you give it a try and I would love to hear what you think. And if you have a favorite deviled egg recipe, you know I want to hear it. So this concludes our trilogy of Jane George. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Thanks for stopping by. It's always such an honor to have you join me. Enjoy eating the past and I will see you in the next video.